Okay, so we just saw the vector, parametric, and symmetric form for a line in 2D. And the wonderful thing is that all of these formats work exactly the way you would expect in 3D. So let's do this. Let's describe the line going through the points P and Q in vector, parametric, and symmetric form. And in each of the three forms, we can, you know, if we'd like to find a specific point on the line, besides the two points that we should know are P and Q. Um, so first of all, we need to um, pick one of the points to serve as sort of the fixed point and create the vector form. And I just went with the point P here. So turn this point into vector format, and that'll be the fixed vector. Okay. And then um, you could have, uh, yeah, I comment, you could have chosen Q. The answer would look a little different, but in the end, it would still also technically be a correct answer. We also need a vector then that points in the direction of the line, right? If you move along a line, it's like a line is, you know, what is a line? It's, in a sense, it's a laser pointer. I mean, I guess that's more of a ray because it doesn't go infinitely in the other direction. But, you know, if, you, if where you are located is P and you have a laser pointer in your hand and you point it in a certain direction, the, the shape of that laser um, in a dusty room is going to be a line or a ray. And so we just need to see what that vector looks like that starts at P and ends at Q. We've done this before. Subtract in the appropriate order and you have this vector. So this vector here, it represents the direction. If you move in the direction of this vector and you started on the line, you would remain on the line. So this, this vector is parallel to the line. Now, a vector itself is straight, right? So it makes sense to say a vector is parallel to a line. So then what we do following the format was take the fixed vector, add t times the direction vector, and that is a valid format to describe a line now. It's just whatever vector you get uh, when you plug in a different value of t would correspond to a different point on the line. Okay, we could write this up again with the of t format here as well. For instance, now to try to answer this thing about uh, finding a specific point on the line, by picking, for instance, t equals 10, you end up getting this vector here. So negative 68, 49, 37. Now in round parentheses, that is a specific point on the line besides these two points that we already knew of. OK, so uh, to get the other formats um, from this vector version, if we just take each of the three components and make them the x, y, and the z formulas, that's the parametric form. That's great. Like, you don't have to really do much work at all. And now to get a specific point, I just pick a random value for t. I just happen to pick t equals 2. And I get x is negative 12, and y is 9, and z is 13. So therefore, negative 12, 9, 13 is uh, yet another point on the line. And if we take the three equations, the three parametric form equations up here, and solve for t in each of these, we can set all three of these equal to each other, and this is called the symmetric form. So, interactive question. I'd like you to strategize more than anything. There's not one right answer to this. There's probably lots of ways to attack this. But if you were given this symmetric form, how would you uh, come up with a point on the line? I mean, describe it in a very recipe-like format.